Hey there wannabe guitar heroes and welcome to another super easy guitar tutorial where this week I'm going to show you six songs that sound super impressive but are actually quite easy to play. So for the beginners out there this is how you can come up with your guitar party trick and actually give people the impression you really know how to play the guitar even if you're just starting out. Don't get me wrong, the seasoned guitarists will be able to pick you out, but 99% of the population who know nothing about playing instruments will go, wow, this cat can play. But before we get into that, I've got a secret. I've got one bonus track that I'm going to play at the end. It's so, so easy, it requires one finger, and it's a classical guitar track that sounds really, really cool. So make sure you stick around for that. Right, the first song I've chosen, I've chosen because it's just so easy. It requires two fingers across two frets and two strings, which are the two fat strings, in my case the bottom two strings, but if you're a right-handed guitarist, they'll be the top two strings. So let's do it. The second song again instantly recognizable three chords real basic chords d a and g so they're all easy chords to play fast strumming couple of little finger variants which you'll see but you'll know it straight away let's do Right, this next one is a Rolling Stones classic from 1968. I love the strum, I love the bassy sound to it. Instantly recognizable riff. Let's do it. Right, this next one was a huge hit for Matchbox 20 back in 1997, a long time ago now. Um, real easy to play, it's got three basic chords, G, C and D, but it's really the little finger on and offs that uh, make this uh, riff really recognisable, so let's go. Okay, this next one's got the four standard chords, which I call the four chord thrash, C, A minor, F and G. Not in that order, I'll put the, the, um, the chords up on the screen here, but let's do it. that one there it's just a minor with a fingers on and off then to a C with pulling out the little finger up here off and on G 
Do that again. To a G. And then I'm playing with the, the two skinny strings. Hear that difference? To an F. G. This iconic song by The Who put out in 1969, it's got the same two bar chords all the way down, so that's why I chose it. If you can get the, the two bar chords right, and then you're just walking your way down the neck of the guitar. Got a pretty fast strum, that's probably the challenging part to it. Let's get into it. from a bonus track and this is a tune that a friend of mine showed me years ago I can't even remember the name of it so I'm just going to call it campfire arpeggio for the sake of this video arpeggio is really when you're just picking one string after the other and this is basically that's that's the basis of this tune I'm going to show you the frets on the screen but pretty much this requires one finger for me It'll be the skinny E string, so I'm using my thumb. For you guys, it will be your pointer finger on the skinny E string on the bottom. And we're just gonna walk our way down and walk your way back up. So I'll give you the patterns to this one because this is a real good party trick song to learn when you know nothing about guitar. Because as I said, one finger and, and a thumb, a thumb and a pointer finger at this end, your pointer finger or your thumb at that end. Right, campfire guitar hero arpeggio. Here we go. <laughs> 